We're going to take a look in, and we're going to find what its factors are. And this is going to involve a complex root. So we're going to have the uh, a real rash, um, actually it's a polynomial. The real polynomial f of x is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 22x minus 20 is our polynomial. And we want to find all the roots of the polynomial and are all the zeros of the polynomial. Well, we're told that one of the zeros is 3 minus i. So that means that f evaluated at 3 minus i is equal to 0, or equivalently, x minus 3 minus i is a factor. And if we have a uh, polynomial where all the coefficients are real numbers, in this case 1, negative 8, and 22 are all real numbers, and 20, of course, then we also know that the complex, con it, the complex conjugates are roots. That means if 3 minus i is a 0, we know that f evaluated at 3 plus i, its complex conjugate is a 0, or equivalently, x minus 3 plus i is a factor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this factor and I am going to write this as x minus 3 plus i. And I'm going to write this over here as x minus 3 minus i. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do next is both of these are factors, so their product is still a factor. And I can, and to multi, so I'm going to multiply these together. I'm going to use a special fact. I'm going to use the formula that a minus bi times a plus bi is equal to a squared plus b squared, right? So I have, for this problem, I have x minus 3 plus i times x minus 3 minus i. I want to multiply these together, but I'm going to note that x minus 3 is a real number, that's my a. And i, in both cases, has a coefficient of 1, so my b is 1. Okay, so we have a is equal to x minus 3, and b is equal to 1. So if I multiply these out together, I'm going to have x minus 3 squared plus 1 squared which is going to equal to the square of the first term, which is x squared, uh, plus 2 times x times minus 3, which is minus 6x. And I'm going to have the last term squared, which is going to be 9, and I'm going to add this 1 to it to get 10. So I multiply these out, I get this over here. Now, I am going to divide my polynomial by this uh, by x squared minus 6x plus 10 to find what the third remaining factor is because remember it's the third degree polynomial has three factors and that factor will tell me what the last zero is so I'm going to take x squared divided into x cubed minus 8x squared Oops, I forgot to write the whole polynomial. I'm sorry. Let me do this on a new sheet of paper. So I'm going to take x squared minus 6x plus 10, right? That's what I got by multiplying the, uh, the two uh, complex factors together. And I'm going to divide that into x cubed minus 
8x squared plus 22x minus 20, right? So I'm going to do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do x squared goes in x cubed x times. Then I multiply x times x squared, which is going to give me x cubed, but I flip the sign because I'm subtracting. And we do x times 6x is negative 6x squared, but I flip the sign because I'm subtracting, so it's 6x squared. And x times 10 is 10x, but I'm going to do minus 10x because I flipped the sign since I'm subtracting. And I subtract. The x cubes cancel out. Negative 8x cubed and 6x cubed gives me negative 2x cubed. And if I subtract these two, I'm going to get plus 12x. And I can bring down the minus 20. Now I start over again. x squared goes into negative 2x squared uh, negative 2 times. And negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared, but I flipped the signs and so subtracting. So it's going to be plus 2x squared. And we do minus 2 times negative 6 is going to be positive 12, but I flipped the signs and so subtracting. And negative 2 times 10 is negative 20, but I flipped the sign and make it a positive since so I'm subtracting, right? So then this get, uh, these are the, so negative 2x squared and 2x squared gives me 0. Uh, 12x and negative 12x gives me 0. And the minus 20 and the 20 give me 0. So this is going to be the remainder 0. That means that this over here, if I take x cubed minus 8x squared plus 22x minus 20, divided by x squared minus 6x plus 10, my quotient is x minus 2 which tells me that x minus 2 is a factor or equivalently that 2 is a 0. So my zeros are going to be 3 minus i, 3 plus i, and 2. My factors will be x minus 3 minus i, x minus 3 plus i, and x minus 2. So I hope that answers the question. Let me know if you have any more, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.